Hi everyone, and welcome to this video. I want this video to be a bit more relaxed and casual. Um, I'm really happy to say that I started a new sketchbook. It's a moleskin sketchbook. Uh, and in this video, I want to talk about why I've started the sketchbook, and also I want to catch up and just open up honestly about how things have been over the past year, and why I might have seemed a bit quieter, especially on social media and in terms of uploads. So in terms of the sketchbook, I feel like it's going to be an amazing opportunity for me to practice much more and to get out of my comfort zone, uh, trying loose sketches and studies. And uh, actually on the first couple of pages, I decided to work on some clean drawings and doodles just because I wanted the first pages to be nice and clean. <laughs> But as I progress through the sketchbook, I'd like to try some rough ideas, uh, much looser sketches, and just lots of fun things that I'd, I'd like to try and just work on some smaller versions of. I feel like it's going to be a really great thing for my art and uh, developing my abilities, uh, trying out new stuff in small ways in the sketchbook before um, trying out any larger versions. Um, and also just not working on large drawings every single time. Uh, I used to work on lots of sketches all the time and I kind of lost a bit of motivation last year. So getting back into the sketching process is going to be, I think, hugely rewarding. Even over the last three years with Inktober, I uh, just completing one page in those sketchbooks felt so rewarding, let alone completing the sketchbook, filling all the pages, and just having a completed sketchbook to look back on. Uh, that whole process is extremely rewarding, and I, I, I see no reason why I haven't been working on more sketchbooks, so it's about time I tried this. Um, and I'm looking forward to just trying lots of new materials and new supplies, I'd like to try more brush pens again. I used to absolutely love working with those. They're a real challenge and I could work on some fun drawings with them. I like the idea of sketching much more and using this sketchbook in the mornings to warm up before working on the larger drawings during the day. Uh, I think that could have a very positive effect on my workflow in terms of speed and also in terms of just being much more prepared for the larger projects. Also considering my art weaknesses, I think it's always a great idea to get out of your comfort zone, and I know I'm guilty of working on stuff that I'm comfortable with far too often, um, and I think this sketchbook will be a great way for me to push myself to work on sketches of things that I struggle with, like full body drawings, uh, like drawing the figure and getting the correct proportions. And the reason I want to do this is because I would love to design some characters of my own. Um, a, a huge influence for me has always been video games and their characters. And I guess I always envisioned myself getting to a point where I could design my own. Uh, the reason I got into any of this, I think seven years ago, is because I was working on some video game fan art, and I got into that and then it's just led on to me working on lots of drawings, and I, <laughs> I, um, my, my goal back then was to get into the video game industry, uh, so I, I, would, I would love to design some characters at some point in the future. Uh, I guess that could be a good goal for me. So, last year, I, I wanted to bring this up because it's the reason why I haven't been uploading as frequently. Um, so February last year, my grandpa was rushed into hospital. Um, he had a mini stroke at that point, and then it led on to him having some infections and he had vascular dementia, uh, and the infections made that worse. And um, So for the next four months from then, I think it was almost four months, uh, I was going to the hospital every day, pretty much every day, and trying to spend the afternoons and early evenings helping with his care. Um, and then things just got worse and worse, and he eventually passed away in May. 
It was a really tough time for the family. Grandpa was amazing. He really loved his family and he had such a great sense of humour. And I'm so grateful for all the time I got to spend with him. Um, as if that wasn't difficult enough though, one of our cats was then diagnosed with failing kidneys and I spent another three months trying to care for him, but he eventually passed away as well in late September. Charlie was such a lovely cat and he reached 14 years of age, uh, but he left behind his brother, uh, Smudge, who um, stays by my side pretty much all the time now. He's always hanging out while I'm drawing. Smudge also has diabetes. He's had it for about two years now, I think, and um, I just have to keep checking on him, and I have to give him insulin injections twice a day. So it's just been, I don't know, last year was a really tough one, especially when you want to be creative and you come home from all of that, and it's just, it makes it so tough. And I, I was trying to work on large drawings last year to, uh, just have something to focus on each week and that worked really well because I love drawing and drawing is my coping mechanism and having these large drawings to work on was a way to just focus on something and just to relax me and not to over overthink everything. Um, so it, at the end of last year I just I, I was totally burnt out really um, and it became apparent to me that I needed to focus on my mental health. Um, and, and that's what I've been doing at the, at the beginning of this year so far. I've been trying to find more balance, uh, trying to look after myself a bit more because last year I, I focused so much on trying to be there for my family. It's just so difficult in those situations when you want to help someone, but it's a helpless situation. All you, all you can really do is just be there for them. Um, and I tried so hard, um, and yeah, I just, I, I, I had to just take a step back and figure out much more balance this year. I think, I think that's what it's all been about, and um, that's why I've been looking forward to getting back to working on sketches and finding balance in terms of that as well, working on smaller projects alongside some larger drawings again as well. Um, but the sketchbook I think is going to really help me to get back into it and find some more motivation again. And I'm, I'm already feeling more, more motivated anyway. Um, I, I'm excited to just try new stuff and new video projects. Recently, I, I've loved trying to work on longer videos, like recently with the glass dip pen, and uh, I'm excited to try out more supplies like that. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know why I might have seemed a bit quieter recently. I did post about this stuff on social media briefly last year, and I was blown away by all the amazingly supportive messages that were sent in. It, it really meant so much to me and my family. Um, I, I catch up with a couple of cups of tea with my granny every weekend and I make sure to let her know how all this stuff is going and um, if she thinks it's all really amazing as well. Um, it's just thank you so much for the support you've shown, it, it truly does mean a lot. In life we all go through difficult times like this and I felt like it would be a good idea for me to talk about it. Uh, being creative has always helped me with this kind of stuff. Um, and I've just missed talking to you like this, in this casual kind of way. It's been so long since I've worked on a video like this, and I'd like to try and work on more. Uh, maybe I could talk about video games that inspire me, and that kind of thing. Um, I'll try and think of some ideas. In terms of video games, I recently completed my playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2 and Spider-Man. And I've gone back to playing The Witcher 3 because I still haven't completed the story. Um, and I have to mention Gwent because that's so much fun. As you can see, on the next pages of the sketchbook, I started working on some figure sketches. And then on the other page, where the Copic marker bled through, it left an interesting shape that I tried to turn into a snake. Uh, I thought that was an interesting challenge to attempt uh, at the beginning of this sketchbook. I didn't consider the markers bleeding through, um, so that's something I'll have to think about in the future. 
I hope you enjoyed watching me work on the first pages of this sketchbook. I, I found it so fun, and I can't wait to work on more ideas. Anyway, make sure you're subscribed if you want to see more art videos, and any thumbs up are hugely appreciated. Um, if you want to follow and support my progress, then be sure to check out the links in the description for my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon. And once again, thank you so much for the support, and thank you so much for watching this video. It really does mean a lot to me, and I hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you all soon.